Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shakira. So in this makeup tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how I got this super simple, glowy, kind of dewy makeup look with a pop of red on the lip. Super simple makeup look. If you guys want to see how I got it, then keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys on my next upload. Enjoy! Alright, so I'm going to start off by priming my face and I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Step 1 uh, Face Primer. Alright, so now we're going to go into foundation. For the summertime, I've kind of been experimenting with my foundations a little bit. I haven't really been going full glam, but whenever I do, I kind of try to do this concoction that I'm about to show you guys right now. So basically, I want the coverage, you know, from my foundation, but I also don't want it to feel too heavy. I've been liking mixing in the, the e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizer. I've been so I've been mixing two foundations. I've been mixing in the Maybelline Super Stay foundation, mixing it with the Bobbi Brown Skin Long Wear Weightless foundation um, with SPF 15. So the reason so the reason why I've been mixing these two foundations together is because the Maybelline Super Stay um, is a little bit light for me right now in the summertime and the Bobbi Brown foundation kind of has this kind of like an olive undertone to it. I wore it for the first time in what video did I wear it for? I wore it for my how to highlight um, video and I didn't really like um, the look of my foundation in that video I just felt like my face kind of looked a little bit green so I've been kind of staying away from using it by itself and I've just been kind of mixing it in with different um, foundations so I've been mixing it in with the Maybelline foundation um, just to give the Maybelline foundation a little bit more I guess you could say a little bit more warmth without just completely using the Bobbi Brown foundation where I feel like the undertone just isn't quite right for me where I'm more of like a yellow goldenish undertone not really like an olivey neutral undertone so I've just kind of been incorporating these two together and getting a good enough match that makes sense for me <laughs> that was a long explanation so I'm just gonna do maybe like a few pumps of the Maybelline Super Stay um, maybe about three pumps just maybe that much and then the Bobbi Brown foundation um, I just want the warmness of it Then I'm just gonna put maybe like maybe like a pump one good giant pump and I'm just gonna show you guys what that looks like so I don't know if you could tell but the Bobbi Brown is right here and then the Maybelline is right here and now we're gonna go in with the elf daily hydration and again that's about one and a half pumps I do so it kind of looks like uh, I keep looking over here because this is where all my stuff is so it kind of looks like this see that and that's just gonna lighten up the foundation a little bit and kind of turn it into a tinted moisturizer so I'm just gonna mix it up mix it all in together I know this is kind of like a little bit inconvenient and nobody really wants to, you know, mix their foundations together. Um, I know I don't, but for right now, I don't really have a um, foundation that is perfect for me right now um, that I like. So I don't mind doing this. And plus, I don't wear makeup every single day. So if I have to do this like once a week for a video <laughs> or if I'm going somewhere, I don't mind. So that's the shade that I'm getting right now. And it's just turned it into this really nice, creamy, um, rich color. And I'm now going to go ahead and put it on my face. <laughs> little bit of like luminous feel to it I kind of have like a little bit of a highlight going on right there it just looks really good and really even and it matches in really well with my neck but do you see how nice it looks do y'all see how nice it looks <laughs> alright so now I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face Alright, and now I'm just going to go in with my sponge and just kind of 
push the foundation into my skin. You guys know this is my two-step foundation process. I go in with a sponge and then, or I go in with a brush and then I go over it with a sponge just to really go in with the foundation, push it into my skin. And this is a Real Techniques sponge. Boom, and there you go. And there is my face. Do you guys see how luminous it looks? It looks just very fresh, very lightweight, and I just think it's a perfect combination for me right now in terms of um, you know how I like my foundation to wear in the summertime. All right, so for concealer, I'm going to be using the LA Pro Girl Conceal. All right, and to blend out the highlighted areas of my face, I do go in with my foundation brush just so that it all blends in, you know, seamlessly to one another. I like a good blendage. I don't like all the areas of my face to be too highlighted. I like it to all just be very seamless. So I go in with my foundation brush to blend it out. And then I go in with my sponge again and just buff out any of those harsh areas. All right, so I'm gonna leave my under eyes a little bit and I'm going to go and do my eyebrows off camera and then come back and blend out under my eyes, set it, and then we're gonna go into the quick and simple eye makeup. All right, so I am back. I am done doing my eyebrows and I have been doing my eyebrows a little bit differently lately. I've just been letting my brows just grow wild and free, um, so. Yeah. So now I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna blend in my concealer because that has been sitting for a minute now. Just gonna blend in my concealer. You probably are gonna need to wet your brush. Your uh, wet your brush. You're probably gonna need to just wet your sponge a little bit just to give it a little bit more moisture. Um, but the LA Pro Girl Conceal sits really well without drying on your face too much, so it'll it's not that bad. The ColourPop concealer, on the other hand, do not let that sit on your face because once it's on your face, it's not going to move. And I had to basically learn that the hard way. I just kind of tap that over my eye and then when I'm ready to do my eye, if I need a little bit more, I'll go in and do a little bit more. Alright, so I feel like I've been blending for my entire life now. So I'm gonna go in and set. I'm gonna be using the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder to set under my eye, and I am going in with my sponge. So at this point in the game, you're probably wondering, what's next? All right, and basically for the rest of my face, I'm just going to dust a bit of Sasha Buttercup, just very, very lightly all over the face. And at this point I can start to dust off the setting powder. I actually forgot about it. I forgot I was supposed to dust it off. But yeah, you just dust it off because we're not trying to bake. I mean, I wasn't trying to bake. So. so right now I am done basically my base makeup. We're going to go into the eyes next. But, but before I do that, I do like to spritz my face just to set in, you know, the powders and everything. So I've so I've been using this Garnier Skin Active Soothing Facial Mist made with rose water. I've been using this to basically spritz on my face, you know, in between my makeup process just to make all, you know, the products, you know, melt well into my skin and just make it look very natural and very radiant like. All right, so now we are going to go into our eyes and we're just gonna keep this eye makeup look very simple. It's so easy, doesn't require a lot, but it's gonna make the eyes look really nice and really popping. So I'm going to be using the It's My Ray Ray in BH Cosmetics um, eyeshadow and contour palette. I'm just gonna go into the color Pancake and I'm just going to basically just put that in my crease and just kind of work that back and forth until I kind of get the smooth depth and the smooth transition that I want. 
like I want this look to be really soft without really like trying too much so the colors that I'm gonna be using are just really soft and really simple all right so now once you've blended that in and it kind of looks like you did nothing what it just basically did was create like a smooth transition because now the next color we're gonna go into is a color called control freak and I'm, go, I'm gonna go into it on the same brush and I'm gonna work that into the crease so basically right there see that I'm gonna work that into the crease and basically into the same area I just put the first transition color but it's just gonna transition a little bit more smoothly now. And I'm just bringing that just into the inner part of my eye, just a little bit, just keeping it just very controlled in the crease and trying not to, you know, go any further. All right, and we are going to come back to that in a little bit. We're going to switch brushes now, and I'm just going to go into this kind of flat-ish, fluffier-ish brush. And I'm just going to go into the color Nudist on my lid. And this is just going to be a soft base for the lid color that I'm about to put on. With shimmers, I tend to like to just put down like a lighter base just so it pops a little bit more especially on my hooded eyes I'm going to be using this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the color Birthday Wish and I believe this was part of their four year um, anniversary so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the shadow and I'm go I wet my finger just a little bit just dampen it a little bit and I'm just gonna go into the shadow I'm just gonna tap into the shadow like this and I just want to show you guys how pretty it looks I just think it's really just really really pretty so I'm just gonna go in with this shadow just on my finger I feel like this shadow works way better when I do it with my finger than when I do it with a brush because I tried using it with a brush the other day and I wasn't getting the payoff I wanted and then I tried it with my finger and it was like totally different <laughs> Totally different and then I'm just gonna pop that on my lid Ooh, it's so pretty and I'm literally putting that all over my lid yeah see how pretty that looks and now I'm just going in with a flat brush and I'm just gonna blend it up Gonna blend out those lines just so it transitions a little bit better it makes it just a little bit softer isn't that so pretty it's so pretty it's so beautiful so now I'm just gonna go back in with the color neat freak and I'm just gonna kind of blend out the outer part just a little bit more and just blend out the crease just so it's just a little bit softer I still want it to have I still want it to be a little bit you know messy and soft but I still don't I don't want any harsh lines so I'm just blending it just like that is that so beautiful is that so beautiful and it's so simple all right so now I'm gonna do the other eye all right so now I'm just gonna line my lashes using this EM cosmetics eyeliner Alright, now I'm just going to do the lash line quickly. I'm going to go into the color Neat Freak and the color Pancake and just kind of mix those two colors together and just uh, kind of smoke out my bottom lash line a little bit. Alright, so now I'm going to do some mascara. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Voluminous Curved Brush Mascara. There you go, and those are the eyes. We're gonna zoom back out and we're going to finish the rest of our face. So back in the uh, It's My Rare palette, I'm gonna take the color Mocha and I'm gonna bronze slash contour up my face. All right, and now we are gonna put on some blush. We're gonna keep the blush really simple 
and cute today. Um, so I'm going to go in with my good old e.l.f. blush palette. I'm going to take a bit of this color right here and then a little bit of the pinkish color as well. So basically right there. Just seeing how that looks. Alright, so for highlight, we're going to like kind of play with a few highlights here. We're going to go into the highlight in the Ray Ray palette. And we're going to first take the color French Toast. And I like this color because it's really nice on dark skin. But it's also subtle enough to be a natural highlight. So let me just show you guys. I'm just going to highlight. Right, and that is just the first step. So I've been using this Maybelline Master Chrome Highlight to give myself that look of, you know, glowy skin in the summertime. So I'm just gonna go in and over top of that French Toast Highlighter, I'm gonna place the Maybelline Highlight. I'm just gonna focus on the high point of my cheek and I'm just gonna really just buff it into the skin just lightly. I just like mixing these two together for highlights to give me that that really nice dewy glowy look. I'm also just going to pop a little bit of that on the brow bone. And I'm also going to pop a little bit of that in the inner corner of my eye. And then we're going to run it just a little bit along our lash line. I like doing this because it gives the illusion of my eyes just being open and being fresh and just being like awake and alive and just like radiant. All right, so I know what you're thinking. My face kind of looks a little bit bland, a little bit, you know, like what else are you going to do to it? But now we are going to go in with the star of the show. The reason why I wanted to even do a look like this is because of this color right here. This is the... ColourPop Times Ellery collaboration. This is their Ultra Satin Lip and it is in the color Ren Renmen. Renmen. Um, and it's so pretty. I wore it once already and I think it's just such a beautiful red color. The only thing about this is that it does transfer and it doesn't dry down to like a matte finish. It dries down to a satin finish but I still absolutely love it and I thought it would be perfect for this lip for this lip and I thought it would be perfect for this look because everything else just looks kind of simple kind of you know a little bit neutral and to just add a pop of this red color will just turn the look into something beautiful Ooh. All right, isn't that so beautiful? All right, you guys, and that wraps up this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Look at this red lip. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I think it just ties everything well together. You know, the makeup is so simple. It's just so easy, and then you put a pop of color on the lip, and you just turns it into something bold and turns it into something beautiful so I just want to thank you guys so much for joining me today thank you for having the patience to finish this video and um, I hope you guys will join me on my next upload bye